The Biden administration is withholding funds to schools that offer hunting courses. Superintendent of Public Instruction Elsie Arntzen has confirmed she sent out a memo stating that, according to the Department of Education, funding decisions were based on plain text interpretation of the bipartisan Safer Communities Act. Some groups, including the Sportsman's Alliance, say they're looking into legal options on this issue. MTN's chief political reporter Jonathan Ambarian is taking a closer look at what this means for Montana. Superintendent of Public Instruction Elsie Arnson says that new guidance from the U.S. Department of Education related to dangerous weapons leaves many unanswered questions, especially in a rural state like Montana. There's a lot of what ifs. The questions come out of the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act passed last year, which included gun safety laws and also investments in mental health and school safety programs. One section of that law prevented certain federal education dollars from being used to provide someone with a dangerous weapon or train them in using a weapon. National media reports, including from Fox News, highlighted concerns from hunting education advocates, who said the department's interpretation of that section meant that funding couldn't go toward hunting and archery programs. Programs. Arnson released a statement Tuesday asking the department to take Montana's values and rural culture into account in its handling of the law. My purpose is to make sure that our public schools have the autonomy and the authority granted by our state statutes also adhering to the federal law. She asked for clarification on whether the federal law affects hunter safety courses taught on school campuses, archery education, including as part of indigenous culture, and Montana's school marshal program, which allows districts to hire active or retired law enforcement to provide security on campus. Montana received $4.8 million in school grants through the Safer Communities Act, and Arnson says she particularly wants to be able to give the districts that receive those grants a clear indication of how they can use the money. We're very rural communities across our state. We want to make sure that one size does not fit all. On Wednesday, U.S. Senator John Tester sent a letter to the Department of Education asking them to reverse course on what he called a misinterpretation and allow federal funding for school archery and hunting education. MTN is awaiting a statement from the department. A frequently asked questions document they produced says grant funds can go towards school resource officers but can't be used to arm teachers or train them in using weapons. Arnson says she hopes to hear additional clarification from the Department of Education as soon as possible so she can give school districts direction on how they should move forward. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.